Hey everybody here. Welcome to my first oh God, my first Blender video that isn't a stream. So today um, we're going to be making a donut on plate. So the first thing I want to do is hold on, I just need to set this up. Uh, this is my um, if I can find it. Alright, I'm gonna have to quickly just the preferences. That. Um, and now we have. Hang on. Let's close that. Now we have this thing called screencast keys. You won't have this. Just follow a tutorial on how to do it. And now I have you in the corner. So if I press, press S, that will happen. So then it tells me what you're doing. So it tells you what I'm doing, which is good. Okay, so I press N to close that, you don't really need that. And now what I'm going to do is we right click on that to make sure that's selected. As you can see, it will grow what, what I'm clicking. So I click there. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press delete and press X. Or no, enter. Um, it didn't come up then. And yeah, I'll be teaching you everything I do. So I press 0 on the numpad to go to... And if you press N to open the properties panel, scroll up, let me just do that. Scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. And we're going to click lock camera to view. And then we can just move. Uh, by the way, to do this, I do shift, add the middle mouse key. To do this, I just hold the mouse key and move. And I'm going to put it down like that. And zoom a bit. And then unlock camera view, and then press one, press five, and then press five again. And now we have our camera. This light uh, up here doesn't really matter. No. No. Mm. Pardon me, everybody watching. Alright, uh, okay, you want to change this resolution to. 100. So you could do that. This is something you don't have to do, it's just to make it easier for you. Text. Yeah, okay, that's much easier for you guys to see. Isn't it so? No, I don't have that. But oh yeah, that's much easier. Um, so if I go to zero and then go down to here, click rendered. What I'm basically doing is just showing you everything I was like. I always see it just like a grey screen. So what I'm doing is I can click back on here and click material. Or you could do any of those, but um, each of them work. Now you want to enlarge in that box and click on the one that has a camera. Make sure this blender render go on the cycle render. Then click on we'll do that bit last. Make sure that's a PNG or you can have a video file. It doesn't really matter. Then make that transparent just so that if you um uh, you don't have to be in the camera if you want to just so that the background is transparent when you render it'll be a little bit faster. And then what you want to do is you want to do, okay, now we're going to actually make the donut. So we have to do shift A, shift plus A. Oh, it works really well. Uh, so that, then you want to make it Taurus. Now this Taurus will just go straight in the center. As you can see, it's not really looking like a donut. So we're going to have to thicken it out, which we do somehow. I don't actually know how to do that, so... Yeah, not very helpful tutorial. I haven't actually done that, so I think I'm just going to go scale and then make it smaller. Like donut size, smaller. Now that is roughly a donut. Uh, that's like a, a British donut, so kind of thick. So I'm just going to go off a British donut. So like a thickened one. And modify. No. 
deform. Now you could look for this. Uh, you guys probably will be able to get it better, but right now you should just follow exactly what I'm doing. Make sure you can see it in the camera view, which you can, which is perfect. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to go back and just quickly do something that you should probably do and get an angle, a good angle on that torus. Hang on, I can't do that. Uh, hang on. And then unlock. Actually, I'm going to move it up like that. Unlock the camera to view. Then we're going to move this. Hang on. Yeah, we'll do that. Move this light. If I can actually, hang on. Select the lamp. And move the lamp over there. And I'm just going to select that. And we're just going to make it, is there like a T to thicken? No, T gets rid of that. And then what you want to do is, right now it looks kind of a little bit bumpy, if we zoom in here. It's really bumpy. So we're going to click smooth, and that smoothens out all the edges we have. All the edges? All the edges we have. And that's what we want. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, so we've got our rough donut shape. Now, the icing on the top doesn't really matter. So, yeah. I'm going to quickly do this. I'm going to set this to, let's change that to, um, cup. But, um, not cup. Um, dough. Nut from the top. Just donut from the top. I've already spelled donut one because I can't spell donut. I think I might have spelled it right. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Oh, I'm really hungry now. I can only donuts. But I just want a picture of one donut from the top, which I have here. It's also got a lot of sprinkles on it, but um. I'm just going to put it, it doesn't really matter how many sprinkles there are, because we're not actually going to make 3D sprinkles, but everyone needs those sprinkles, but what we're going to have is, we're going to have, um, square donuts, what the hell? anyway, we're going to call it, this, the DN, the donut, because uh, I'm really lazy, so let's go back to my tutorial, which I, here picture and now I'm going to go back to you have to be in edit mode for this so go to edit mode go to the, the go to this picture click new and what's that done is it's made a new material that has that's going to be um that's going to be somewhere so if you're on cycles render you'll see this if you're Blender render, you'll see that. But we want cycles render. And we're going to keep that. Unless you want it like. Unless you want. We'll see. For some strange reason. Which I don't think you would. Because that's what that looks like. I guess you might have a. Uh, donut that looks like that. You could probably make the donut a little bit better by thickening it, but I, I don't really know how to do that right now. But right now I want image texture. And that made it purple because of the default. Then I want to click open. And find wherever you saved it. Obviously it's going to be within all of these files I have. And what did I name it? I just remember what I named it. So I named it D D N D T but D N yeah so it should be just right after all this one. Uh D L that's L that's F that's C C C C C C C C C D N open image. Now nothing looks different. That's because we have to click U. Then you want to Project from view bounds. 
make sure that's selected and if we go to one you can see it's not that good not good whatsoever we're gonna set that back to um what's it uh diffuse bfc bcf so that gives it a nice brighten effect but yeah we're gonna have to you unwrap all that did is we just go to this thing now and as you can see here's our donut and we, we can just move our donut about but then if we go about up right there now I'm going to go back to the 3D view and I guess that's the closest you can get to having a donut or a donut I might be able to get Closer. So if I go to this again, sorry that you won't be able to see what I'm doing. I'm just pressing G right now to move it about, trying to get it perfectly in there. Now, if you want to to help yourself, and what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to set this from. Remember, just remember the. Uh, properties panel to the UV image editor, no not the UV image editor, the 3D view, just to give it a, just so that you can, you guys can see what I'm actually getting at with this, and right now I'm just going to have to quickly render that, so you can see, so I think that should change something when I do that, yeah, it does, just want to try and get it Right there. So right now I've just pressed G. I'm gonna click to put the donut down. Set this back to that, set this back to uh what is it? The properties panel. And then, if you want to, you can just make it glossy. And now we have our donut type thing. And now I'm not going to make it glossy, but I'm going to give it a glossy um, and make it kind of glossy. Um, that doesn't really make much sense, but you'll see what I mean in a minute. So go up to this panel, change that to unblinking. Set this blink to rendered. Click on this button here. Now, nothing too exciting here. Just the normal stuff. Really. This might keep seem exciting. If you need people, to Shift A to add. I could shader to add a mix shader and drop it down there. And that should look like that. Now if we turn down the factor, you can see what it does. We're just going to delete that because I can't actually remember what the default is. So, it looks black right now. Don't worry, it should look black if you've just deleted it. If you've not just deleted it, then it shouldn't look black. Now that completely deletes it, so it's set to surface. And then you got that. Now you're going to do shift A, make a glossy shader, put it over here, do set it up there, and you've seen me do this on my streams, turn down the roughness, then if we go to, back to default, scroll up, go to material mode, Select the lamp. No, not that. I want the lamp. And click these nodes and then just make it like quite strong. That's just for um, reasons. Because otherwise it's not going to be very strong. Then go zero. And then render it so you can just see that it makes it look brighter, much better. But I 
going to turn down that a bit because I don't want it too bright. But I want it bright enough. Now that's how close enough as I can get down up. And now we're going to have to, now we're ready to render it. But actually, I'm just going to quickly do this. This is something that you might want to do. Just um, zoom in and get a good shot of it over here. And then this is something you have to do if you want to make it look better. And that is 0, 1. Alright, so you want to make sure you're not in render mode. Your materials, I mean. Click Shift, then press A, and make a plane. And wherever your plane would be, go to 1, then press 5 on the number pad. And then so we have a bit of a problem right now, so we're gonna have to just move it over there. Just because we need it. And then we're gonna put it directly under there. Nope. Under the donut. And do scale X one hundred and then zero. Then scale, then y, then 100, and then you have your um, pretty thing, actually I'm going to change the, I'm going to move the plane a bit, no, I'm going to make the, um, I'm going to scale it down in size, just so that you can get a little bit of detail of Gonna break stuff so I'm just going to scale y axis 50 no s you know 50 no enter um oh no hang on maybe I have to put scale to Wait, what's happened? We've, we've just made a really, really big plane. I want to make it really, really small. Let's just make that. So here's our table. I've kind of scaled it in the wrong direction here. But How do I make it? Alright, hang on. The value of scale by the x axis. No, it's not. It's like scale by the y axis. Scale. That's not changing, and that's not changing. Alright, whatever's happened, it's okay. As long as you've got a floor. Now, this is something that you don't really have to do. I'm going to set the end to 3. No, I'll set the end to 6 just to give it a long transition. And then we're just going to press, we're going to move to the camera, click I, click location of rotation. Now we're gonna go to put six, put n, put look how much view, put n again, and then if you want to you can zoom in, move the mouse a bit, rotate the mouse a bit, and get it in the middle of the screen, like that, and then Click I, click location, rotation again, then click N. And by the way, guys, I got the Freddy files on the exact day it came out, which is today, the day I'm recording this. And now, if we go back to the beginning, if we click on that picture, we have this animation of it kind of flowing into the guy. But, um, 
Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the camera again, and we're going to quickly just make this about fourteen, because fourteen is kind of short. Now set that to fourteen. And give it and uh, look for camera to view again. And then I'm just gonna give it a kind of rotate a bit. Give it a bit. And then just zoom in on the on it. I don't know what that did really. So I'm just gonna do I rotation rotation just like that and I'm gonna play okay I guess it's okay I'll go really slowly so you can see okay ready so I guess we go like we go like that then it kind of like spins around the donut and then it just goes off a bit and I'm gonna give it like 60 uh, two more frames and now what I want to go is click this button and this is where the um, wanted we need to make sure that you make a file so let's say go to my documents and I go to right click on any file I don't really care about or I don't really care about or it doesn't really matter I'm trying to say then I'm gonna go to folder like always and I'm just gonna name that new file folder I'll just simply name it 